Hello, my name is Jason Mercer. I'm the Director of Market Analysis for the Toronto Real Estate Board. With November in the books, 2014 is almost complete, but demand for ownership housing remains strong. Now we continue to see year-over-year -year growth in sales through the Toronto MLS system in November relative to the same period in 2013. And this suggests that many households in the greater Toronto area are still finding homes that meet their needs within their budgets. Now with this said, the sales growth we have experienced so far this year has not been mirrored on the listings front. This remained the case in November. The supply of homes for sale did not keep up with demand, so market conditions actually became tighter. And this means that competition between buyers became more intense in some neighborhoods for some home types, particularly where low-rise housing types like singles, semis, and townhomes are concerned. So there are many neighborhoods in the GTA where there are less than two months of inventory for low-rise home types. Now obviously, when market conditions are tight, and in fact getting tighter, we see strong price growth as offers from buyers become more aggressive. And this was certainly the case in November with the average selling price up substantially compared to November 2013, driven by high single digit or low double digit annual rates of price growth for some low rise home types. Low rise home types have been in short supply for a number of reasons, not the least of which has been a shift towards high rise construction in the new home market after the implementation of Places to Grow and Greenbelt legislation in Ontario. Now in the City of Toronto in particular, third party research has also suggested that some households are choosing to renovate rather than list their house for sale and move in part to the existence of the additional land transfer tax. While we have seen sellers market conditions for low rise home types, it's important to note that the condo apartment market has been more balanced. Over the last couple of years, a record number of new condominium apartments have completed, and many of these newly completed units have subsequently been listed for sale on the Toronto MLS system. However, far from causing a glut, this added inventory has been absorbed quite well with enough buyer interest to see average condo selling prices growing above the rate of inflation. So that concludes my market overview for November. So I'd like to wish you happy holidays and I look forward to speaking with you again in the new year when we'll discuss the December results as well as 2014 as a whole. Thank you very much. Brought to you by GTA Realtors.